everybody, it's Mickey. We have had such a fun couple of weeks celebrating graduations in our family. And in today's video, I am back with a grocery haul, some projects around the house, a little furniture shopping, and of course, what we're having for dinner. So over the past two weeks, we have traveled over 1,200 miles back and forth to Bloomington, Indiana and the campus of Indiana University where our son graduated from law school. IU has got to have one of the most beautiful campuses I have ever been on. My son attended Mauer Law School there and has loved calling Bloomington home for the last three years. The weather was beautiful except for the actual day of graduation where it just poured rain, but the ceremony was beautiful and we were all just so grateful we could be together to celebrate. Back home in Virginia a few days later, we were able to come together again to celebrate my youngest son's graduation from George Mason University where he served as their student commencement speaker for his major. It is truly one of the greatest joys in life to see your children find something that they love and work so hard to achieve their goals. Much too quickly, we were all back home into the old groove, getting ready for the week ahead. So I just have a small grocery haul for you today. We just got back from Indiana, so I just needed a few things to help me out with some dinners for the week and to pack in lunches. So first up, we have some sweet potatoes. Roasted sweet potatoes is one of my all-time favorite side dishes. It's super easy to make and just takes no time at all. I have some Fuji apples for lunches and for oatmeal, and I have some lemons and limes that I always like to slice up for our ice water, and also I always put a couple in my, you know, my little sippy cup that I bring with me wherever I go. I have some green and red bell peppers. I always like to chop a bunch of these up at the beginning of the week to help me out, you know, with prepping for dinner. I have a couple small heads of broccoli and a head of cauliflower. I like to roast these too. You just mix it with some olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper, and you put some Parmesan cheese on top. I have some applesauce and some canned green beans. I got some of those sweet grape tomatoes. I also found some strawberry Greek yogurt for um, morning oatmeal and some lunches. And we did so much walking this past week that I had to get some blister bandages for my heels. And these really are the best ones that I have found. I also got an onion, I have some really nice bananas, and of course I have my favorite M&Ms. I also found some rosemary for the roasted sweet potatoes, and I found some bags of lettuce for some quick meals and lunch throughout the week. The chicken was buy one, get one free, so I got two. I also got some diet ginger ale just to have on hand. So that's everything I got at the grocery store today. I'm gonna to get this all put away and I'm gonna take a little time to have some breakfast. I thought I would share with you what I'm having for breakfast this morning. Oatmeal is my favorite breakfast. I probably have it two or three times a week. And this is, today is um, just regular oatmeal with peaches and apple and granola. And I always start my morning off with a big old glass of ice water. And I have some lemon and lime slices in here just to you know give it a little flavor. But this is my favorite breakfast. And it really does keep me full until way past lunchtime. And on certain days, I like to have dinner really early in the afternoon. So in the morning, I'll just have a big bowl of oatmeal and then I won't eat again until having like an early dinner around like three or four o'clock. So we are still working on finishing our dining room here. We have some trim to put up around the windows and in the entranceway, but today we are going to be hanging some pictures. I have always had pictures of the kids here in the dining room, and since we've done the shiplap wall, I thought instead of full colored pictures that I would have them printed off in black and white to stay with that more neutral feel. Most of the pictures in the house, especially of the kids, I take myself and then I have them printed on either Shutterfly or Snapfish, depending on who has the best promo code at the time. 
Both places do a pretty good job, although I think Shutterfly might have an easier to use website than Snapfish, but I have found that the quality is about the same and the enlargements are very reasonably priced. Now a couple videos back I had told you all that we were making some changes here in our living room. I had ordered a new sofa a couple of weeks ago and it should be coming in really soon so we're going to have to move the sofa and the chairs out of here to do some painting and trim work. I'm going to hold on to the sofa and pass it down to my daughter next year and the chairs are going to go up to the master bedroom. So originally I was going to have the cushions of these chairs reupholstered, but after checking a few places around town, it just was not cost effective at all. I would actually be able to replace the whole chair for what it would cost me just to have them reupholstered. I knew I wanted to use black buffalo checks somewhere in this room, and I just happened to be in Pier 1 and found the perfect chairs on sale. So I ordered two, and they should be in about the same time as my sofa, so I am getting really excited about putting this whole room together. So we are having a few extra people for dinner tonight, and one of our family favorite meals is a pork tenderloin with a roasted sweet potatoes and Italian green beans. I usually pick out a Smithfield pork loin. They are just my favorite. And I have a bunch of sweet potatoes here with an onion and rosemary. Canned beans are the best to use for my Italian green beans. You will also need a large roasting pan for the pork loin and for the sweet potatoes. And you will need a collection of spices, salt and pepper, rosemary, basil, Mrs. Stash, parsley, and garlic powder. So first lay your pork loin in your roasting pan and add salt, pepper, Mrs. Dash, a little bit of basil, garlic powder, rosemary, and parsley. I always add about six or seven ice cubes to the pan to keep everything moist as it cooks. Cover with foil and roast in a 375 degree oven until the internal temperature reads about 160. To make the roasted sweet potatoes, I chop up about four or five medium sized potatoes, half of a large onion and two to three cloves of garlic and place them in a nine by 13 roasting dish. Then I chop up and add some fresh rosemary leaves, cover it all generously with some really good olive oil and sprinkle with some coarse salt, blackened pepper, and Mrs. Dash. Mix it up all together, cover and roast about 45 minutes alongside of your pork roast, uncover after 30 minutes, and continue roasting until done. Then for the Italian beans, drain your can of green beans and empty into a saucepan. Add about two or three tablespoons of olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and a little bit of oregano. And then just warm on the stove top until you're ready to serve. I add a little container of applesauce to the plate and dinner is ready. This is a great meal for Sunday dinner or even during the week because it is really quick and easy to put together. I will put all the details to the recipes and the products that I mentioned in today's video in the information section down below. So thank you so much for watching today and for being so patient while I spent some time with the family celebrating our graduations. If you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put out new videos every week about all things home. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Be kind to each other and I will see you again soon. Bye.